This is my city with no services. Some of you complained that we did not simulate long enough. So I will simulate for longer. And then if everything is still the same, looking at the profits and other things, we are going to expand the city even more. So three speed and let's wait. Since the city is continuing growing as well as growing the profit margin, I am going to expand it, buying a few new tiles up here because people cannot really move in because there's too much traffic jam. So I will plop down another interchange here and then connect it up on a different route and expand in this area. With that, we have a new intersection right here that is connected up to the beautiful city that should relieve this intersection right here so that not 100% of the traffic has to go through this area. We've also unlocked some new signature buildings which we will make use here in a new area. So I am building a grid right here like this, perfect, connected up at two places then we can put the signature building right in the middle have some medium density to make it fit in and the demand we have is actually for high density which means low rent housing which we of course can fit right here maybe change it up so it doesn't zone the sides for a more uniform look as well as commercial which for sure can fit here and good thing we don't need to connect any of the services we're now paying way more tile upkeep but still we're making tons of profit just as a reminder we have the taxation normally where you started out as and since we have industry demand i'm also going to expand it down here with this area down here get it all filled up and we can also add some more custom industry so we have a ton of new jobs in this bottom area. Now commercial demand is back up and this new interchange is really doing well. Just one thing preemptively going to delete these pedestrian crossings and then offer an alternative route with just some bridges going over and we have reached tiny town which gives us mixed used buildings as well as a few more services which of course we're not going to build. And now our city is growing faster than ever which we can probably even speed up more if we decrease taxation of residential to just zero because why not? Oh, the reason for why not is because with that we are losing money, but we have a bunch of money. So while we're over 1 million, I don't think there's a problem losing a bit for faster growth. So let's just keep it that way for a few minutes. One thing I forgot was to flatten this area. So we will just do that right now for the future. So at least this part is fully flat. And here we can't really do anything about it now, but then it is how it is. One thing we can try out is this new mixed use buildings. And we have only demand left for low density. But I think if you just don't build low density, they will move into some of the higher density apartments, which is what I'm going to try to do. I have continued zoning a bit and population is still growing. This intersection though is not looking too well. So I built some overpasses where you can move directly to this new section. And I hope that this will help the entire situation as well as maybe right now, even a connection from here up to that point. That makes sense. So people can drive directly around it. And the continuing issue we have is that of industrial demand for which I'm probably going to expand to this other side taking on even more costs. But I mean, we're only losing money because I have residential taxes to basically zero. So let's expand that and get the industry built. So here we have more space for the industry. It doesn't look pretty, but nothing in the city does. So let's zone it all up. And we even have a connection over here to the other side which hopefully people will use. And that should all really resolve the traffic jam around here, 
which actually happened, <laughs> but now there's a traffic jam over here. Every once in a while, we have to go through and delete buildings that actually burnt down, but there's no way around it because otherwise we would have to build a fire station, which I'm not going to do. Isn't this a beautiful city? <laughs> I mean, look at it. The best there ever was. And I'm always getting XP for citizen happiness increased. They're really happy here, for sure. Oh, what a great day to take a stroll along the highway. Where are you coming from and where are you going, guys? Who are you? Shopping? <laughs> you're shopping? I don't think so. Let's follow you around. Ah, oh, maybe you're moving into your new home. There are surely lots of great homes over. Don't mind these destroyed buildings. They will be cleaned up very quickly. And we got the chemical plant, which is actually great because it gives citywide benefits. So I am just going to plant it somewhere where there is space, just around here. So now each of these should get efficiency increase plus one, I think, which is great because otherwise they are running really, really low on efficiency. What happened in this building that there are 11 people waiting for an ambulance? You have. 30 employees. Maybe take a look at work safety. That, that was just funny. It showed that we are losing people, but the number is going up. So something weird is happening, but oh well. Let's look at the stats. My population growth, it is decreasing the growth, which is fine. And also we have almost no birth rate, but I mean, there's not anything you can really do in the city, apart from work in really inefficient factories. Unemployment has been down the entire time. Same as happiness, which is basically as slow as it can be. Lower is not possible. We reach milestone six, which gives us basically nothing. And citizens are just growing pretty linearly. So I am going to zone a bit more area and then just queue another time lapse. So I'm zoning more medium density along here with some of these and more commercial same as this side it will get more commercial also on these sides here possibly even some offices i'm not sure if they will actually move in and i need to expand again to get more space for industry which i will do right here and you might wonder well why you're getting this is just water not for long we can just do this a nice marine life keeping very sustainable uh, terraforming project just like this we have created a new area that can house a very nice new grid bam connect it up and then we can fully zone it with industry pretty perfect and zone it all up so we have a lot of new zones for people to move in just to be sure make another bit more of commercial and now cue the time lapse we are now up to 16,000 inhabitants still growing strong and we got a few more special buildings that we can put down to increase happiness these polar suites they look nice they fit in here perfectly as well as some commercial buildings Let's put one down right here. And with that, we get milestone seven. And let's put the other one down somewhere as well. Right here, it's the food station. So my Sims can get some dinner because they can't cook at home because it has no electricity. But this also doesn't have electricity, so oh well. So for this episode, let's aim to get up to 20,000 inhabitants. I don't even think we need to zone too much more for that. So let's just wait longer. So this city has been growing for one year in game since the beginning of this video. We're now up to 20,000 inhabitants and pretty packed on space. We for sure need to expand. And thankfully soon we will get the high density building and we will for sure expand industry further out. If you want to see this continue, let me know in the comments. I am pretty sure one could scale the city up to over 100,000 inhabitants. It would just take a while because people are moving in really, really slow because, well, there's no reason to move into here. So if you're still on, thank you for watching and happy gaming.